long time since I've uploaded a video. Today I'm going to be speaking about one of the vital topics that is water pollution. Water is a natural resource which we need to prevent from pollution so that everyone can drink safe water and is a contributing factor of healthy lifestyle. Now let's see what is water pollution. Water pollution occurs when harmful substances often Chemicals or microorganisms contaminate a stream, river, lake, ocean, aquifer, or other body of water, degrading water quality and rendering it toxic to humans or the environment. What are the causes of water pollution? Water is uniquely vulnerable to pollution, known as a universal solvent. Water is able to dissolve more substances than any other liquid on Earth. It's the reason we have Kool-Aid and brilliant blue waterfalls. It's also why water is so easily polluted. Toxic substances from farms, towns and factories rarely dissolve into and mix with it, causing water pollution. Categories of water pollution Groundwater Groundwater gets polluted when contaminates from pesticides and fertilizers to waste leached from landfills and septic systems make their way into an aquifer, rendering it unsafe for human use. Ridding groundwater of contaminates can be difficult to impossible as well as costly. Groundwater can also spread contamination far from the original polluting source as it seeps into streams, lakes and oceans surface water covering about 70 percent of the earth's surface water is what fills our oceans lakes rivers and all other blue bits on the world map municipal and industrial waste discharges contribute their fair share of toxins as well there's also all the random junk that industry and individuals dump directly into waterways Ocean water 80% of ocean pollution, also called marine pollution, originates on land whether along the coast or far inland. Contaminates such as chemicals, nutrients and heavy metals are carried from farms, factories and cities by streams and rivers into our bays and estuaries. From there, they travel out to sea. Point Source when contamination originates from a single source, it's called point source pollution. Examples include wastewater, also called effluent, discharged legally or illegally by a manufacturer, oil refinery or wastewater treatment facility, as well as contamination from leaking septic systems, chemical and oil spills, and illegal dumping. Non-point source Non-point source pollution is contamination derived from the diffuse sources. These may include agricultural or stormwater runoff or debris blown into waterways from land. Transboundary It goes without saying that water pollution can be contained by a line on a map. Transboundary pollution is the result of contaminated water from one country spilling into the water of another. Contamination can result from a disaster like an oil spill or the slow downriver creep of industrial, agricultural or municipal discharge. Most common types of water contamination are as follows. Agricultural, seaways and wastewater, oil pollution and last but not the least, radioactive substances. Effects of water pollution on human health Every year, unsafe water sickens about 1 billion people. Waterborne pathogens, in the form of disease causing bacteria and viruses from human and animal waste, are a major cause of illness from contaminated drinking water. Diseases spread by unsafe water include cholera, giardia, and typhoid. Even in wealthy nations, accidental or illegal releases from seaways treatment facilities, as well as runoff from farms and urban areas contribute harmful pathogens to waterways. On the environment In order to thrive, healthy ecosystems rely on a complex web of animals, plants
plants, bacteria, and fungi, all of which interact directly or indirectly with each other. Harm to any of these organisms can create a chain effect, improving entire aquatic environment. Now here are some ways to prevent water pollution. First, reduce your plastic consumption and reuse or recycle plastic when you can. Number two, properly dispose of chemical cleaners, oils and non-biodegradable items to keep them from ending up down the drain. Number three, maintain your car so it doesn't leak oil, antifreeze or coolant. Number four, if you have a yard, consider landscaping that reduces runoff and avoid applying pesticides and herbicides. Number five, the most important, if you have a pub, be sure to pick up its poop. Thank you very much and let's stay united.